appreciate the initiative uh, from uh, the Rwanda government. It's a very, uh, it's a country that tried to solve the African problems on African soil, and I, I think that's very positive. That is also why Norway support this uh, initiative from Rwanda. We are supported with uh, uh, paying half of the the camps uh, here uh, expenses, and we are going to continue to support this initiative. And we are also uh, going to let some of them come to Norway because. Uh, it's 640,000 migrants in Libya and all of them want to come to Europe. But uh, there is no chance that everybody is going to get uh, permission to stay in Europe because we are only getting uh, permission to stay for those who are real refugees who cannot return back to the country of origin. And then it's so good that the Rwanda is taking those who are most vulnerable and in the most need of protection. And then we can uh, sort out the, and do the assessment here on, on the African soil instead of bringing them into Europe and then take the assessment there and try to get most of them going back to Africa. But we are saying that we are going to share the burden with Rwanda. We are going to take 600 uh, persons in uh, resettlements from Rwanda. Uh, the balance between the ATM uh, resettlements and the um, uh, Congolese and the Burundis who are already in Rwanda and have stayed there for a long time, they also need help. So we, we are trying to find a good balance there with the Rwandan authority and the UNHCR. Uh, so, but the, the most important message is, is that we are going to have a share, a share of burden with Rwanda. I know that there is 150,000 refugees in Rwanda. So, and uh, Norway is going to take 600 of them. It's a small amount, but still, it's a burden sharing. And I also say to other countries in Europe, do the same thing as Norway. So far, like 6 September, so like not even four months of operation. Four months after the signature of the MOU, we have already organized three evacuation flights, taking away from harm more than 300 people, 306 to be, uh, to be uh, more specific. Uh, seven of them already departed to Sweden uh, as part of a resettlement program. 299 are still here. But uh, even if it's a transit, they are safe in Rwanda, and this is the most important for them. I mean, they are here in a country where they can enjoy a favorable protection environment. They've been welcomed by the Rwandan population, and it was very surprising and heartwarming for them to be welcome in this country. And, uh, and now what we are doing, we are processing their cases to know who they are, where they come from, what they went through, and find the most adapted solutions for them. Um, so among them, we have half of them are unaccompanied minors. Uh, we have people who were rescued at sea. We have a woman who gave birth in detention. So we have like profile of people who are very vulnerable. They have been away from any social network for many years. But slowly by slowly, they are putting their life back on track here in Rwanda. Um, meaning that they have interaction with other people. They are not in a detention center. They can go out here in Gachara. Some of them are already going to the market, interacting with the local population. So they are also learning to live like different communities together in one center. And uh, it's a way to readapt themselves to, to, to the normal world. And, uh, and to foresee maybe the possibility for a better future. As part of these solutions, uh, we have repatriation in their country of origin. Um, if the situation in the country of origin is suitable, we already have two young uh, refugees who has to be reunited with their family in their country of origin. So we are now studying if the situation there is good enough to send them back. Um, but there is also other possibilities like family reunification in a third country, uh, complementary pathways in another country through scholarship because some of them have, you know, university degrees and could continue by studying. Uh, or maybe even integration in Rwanda because Rwanda has always been very generous to refugees. Integration of refugees is part of the Rwandan uh, strategy here. And it's valid for Congolese and Burundian refugees, but it also applies to them. And government of Rwanda said that if some of these evacuees would like to integrate locally, Rwanda has opened their heart and is ready to 
keep their home open to help them integrate here. But uh, what is uh, encouraging is that when they arrived, they thought that they were here in transit for a short period to be immediately resettled. But now some of them start saying, oh, we would like to take language classes, including in English, but also Kenya Rwanda, to be able to interact with the population. And they were quite um, reluctant to take any you know, vocational training to learn new skills, but now they tend to say that any skill they are going to learn here in Rwanda is going to be useful for their future wherever they go. Wherever means there is options.